the Battle of Verdun, fought on the Western Front during World War I, stands as a testament to the ferocity and endurance displayed by soldiers on both sides. Lasting from February 21st to December 18, 1916, the Battle of Verdun became synonymous with the enduring French spirit encapsulated in the phrase Ils ne passeront pas or they shall not pass. This video explores the final stages of the Battle of Verdun, examining the toll it took on both the French and German forces and its enduring legacy. Context of the Battle Verdun, a strategically important fortress town in northeastern France, became the focal point of one of the longest and most brutal battles of World War I. The German High Command, under Chief of Staff Erich von Falkenhayn, aimed to bleed France white by attacking a position they believed the French would be compelled to defend at any cost. French Resistance and Suffering The French defenders, led by Generals Philippe Pétain and Robert Nivelle, displayed remarkable resilience in the face of relentless German assaults. The rugged terrain, heavily fortified defenses, and the determination of the French soldiers contributed to the prolonged stalemate on the battlefield. The battle intensifies, months of intense fighting, with both sides suffering staggering casualties, characterize the Battle of Verdun. The Fort de Vaux and Fort Douaumont changed hands multiple times, each exchange marked by fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat. The landscape became a lunar-like wasteland, scarred by artillery bombardments and pockmarked with shell craters. Fort Douaumont Falls In late October 1916, the German forces achieved a significant breakthrough when they captured Fort Douaumont, a key defensive position. The fort's fall was a demoralizing blow to the French, and it marked a turning point in the battle. However, the Germans were unable to capitalize on this success and secure an outright victory. Winter Conditions and Stalemate As winter set in, both sides faced the harsh realities of the elements. Freezing temperatures, muddy trenches, and logistical challenges compounded the already dire conditions. The battle settled into a grueling stalemate, with neither side gaining a decisive advantage. The End of the Battle by December 1916, the situation on the Western Front had evolved, and both the French and German high commands shifted their focus to other theaters. The Battle of Verdun officially came to an end on December 18, 1916. The cost of the battle was staggering, with estimates of casualties reaching close to a million on both sides. Legacy The Battle of Verdun left an indelible mark on the collective memory of the nations involved. The phrase Ils ne passeront pas became a symbol of French resistance and endurance. Verdun, once a picturesque town, stood in ruins, serving as a somber reminder of the human cost of war. The Battle of Verdun, with its unyielding defense, relentless assaults, and devastating toll on human life, represents a pivotal chapter in the annals of World War I. The enduring legacy of Verdun lies not only in the physical scars left on the landscape, but also in the collective memory of a generation that faced unimaginable challenges. The Battle of Verdun stands as a solemn testament to the human spirit's ability to endure and resist, even in the face of overwhelming adversity.